New England cable TV industry has been an economic powerhouse during the recession and the slow economy of the last few years. That is the finding from a new study done at UMass for the New England Cable and Telecommunications Association, or NECTA. And full disclosure before we go on, NECN is owned by a major company in the cable industry, and that is Comcast. With us tonight for a closer look at this is NECTA's president, Paul Cinelli. Paul, good to have you here. Well, thank you for inviting me. So you did this study with uh, UMass about jobs and job growth over the past several years, and, and what did you find, essentially? Well, it was the Donahue Institute at the University of Massachusetts, and uh, uh, we did a study that went back to uh, 2006, and uh, what we found is that in the cable television industry, we had job growth of 23.1%, while in the rest of New England, um, uh, jobs dropped 3.1%. Now, most of this was due to our huge investment in the infrastructure. From uh, uh, 06 to 2010, we invested $3.58 in infrastructure. What kinds of things are you investing money in? In the whole network, and uh, in fiber and broadband. Uh, the investment that investment created and supported 100,000 miles of broadband and 22,000 miles of uh, fiber strand throughout the region. Now, what does that result in? It results in more products and services for consumers and for small and medium businesses. And that's been a big area of growth for the cable television industry. And I say cable television is really cable telecommunications. Video is one aspect of it. But broadband may be the most important aspect of it now. And how has bro broadband grown over that time? It's, it's from, from 2005, it's grown 60% throughout New England, which is astonishing. But we provide uh, a high-speed connection, uh, reliable. Uh, we've put this money in the network for that purpose, among other purposes. You know, we also provide a great telephone service, an alternative to the incumbent local exchange carriers. Uh, it's, it's low cost, it has all the features, uh, people love it, and they're paying 25% of what they used to pay just 10 years ago. Now the other area that we've gone into that is saving small and medium-sized businesses hundreds of millions of dollars a year throughout New England is, um, is the whole business services area. In the past, small and medium businesses have been pretty much at a take-it-or-leave-it basis. Now we provide them with a low-cost telephone, high-speed dedicated uh, broadband, and some video services. And this is a huge booming business for the cable telecommunications industry. What kind of feedback are you getting from businesses? Because you are expanding in this area quite a bit. We're getting very positive feedback. They like our, the features, and most importantly, they like the price, especially in this economy. You know, providing an alternative that saves them money it's critical. And that's how uh, we're contributing uh, to the economies in the six New England states, is by providing these other services. And, you know, on the consumer side, with our broadband services, they can be true uh, telecommuting now. In the past, kind of. Now you can do it. You have these speeds that might be comparable or better than, than anything you have at your business. All right, briefly, uh, as you look forward, okay, that's the last three or four years. It's impressive. Where, I mean, will this pace continue in the near future? I certainly hope so. <laughs> uh, the, um, you know, one thing about the cable industry, cable tele telecommunications industry, that's never changed is we're always pushing the envelope, exploring new areas. I mean, right now we're looking at things uh, uh, like data storage, uh, mobile and wireless. Uh, we're getting into that whole field. Uh, home security, uh, 3D TV. You know, there are things that just came on the scene a few years ago that we take for granted now, DVRs, um, uh, high-definition television. And they're commonplace yeah, they're, in our they're lives pretty, they're now. they're mainstream now. They're, they're mainstream, absolutely mainstream. But I'll tell you, five years ago, it was like Buck Rogers. Well, thanks for the update. It's a pleasure. Uh, Paul Cinelli, president of NECTA, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for having me.